If you're not a farmer, proposed federal legislation to end single desk selling at the Canadian Wheat Board might not seem important. Here's one of the ads you'll soon be seeing thanks to the provincial NDP. Monday, the Premier took aim at the federal government's decision to dismantle the Canadian Wheat Board next year. The NDP urged people to support producers and their right to vote on and decide the future of the Grain Marketing Agency. Salinger said their producers' democratic rights need to be preserved. Three out of four producers polled want the right to take part in these decisions and that more than 2,000 jobs will be lost here in Manitoba along with the Wheat Board. We believe our producers and producers in the West who uh, are the majority should have support of at least one level of government when many other levels of government are operating uh, with campaigns and resources uh, to go in the other direction. We think uh, there has been very little thought about the impact on Churchill, Manitoba. Churchill is our only major inland port and 90% of what it ships out of Churchill comes through the wheat board. And if the wheat board stops shipping through there, it could have a very negative impact on northern Manitoba. True, it's all about food. I mean, uh, Canadian wheat and barley is uh, known around the world as top quality for its consistency and, and bread making abilities. So, yes, uh, without a single desk, that quality is, is likely in jeopardy. Selinger said that 90% of product that moves through the Churchill Inland Port comes from the Canadian wheat board. Those TV, print, and radio ads will run for three weeks starting today. From the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe, I'm Tanya Kohut.